17 years in, going on 18 years, I finally get a song on the record, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm pretty stoked on it. Ted showed me the song. He, he sent me the song. And, um, you know, first of all, one thing that helped is it was like basically a complete song. So it's easier to like envi envision the entire thing, you know, rather than like people throwing out a riff here, uh, like a part here and there, because I mean, I just I have riffs galore, so I just don't really sometimes don't really need a riff. Like, but when I when I'm hearing an entire song, then yeah, now I can like digest where the whole thing's going. I loved it. When the band reformed back in 2001, you know, I did, for those two records, uh, Art of Dying and Killing Season, I was just mainly there to, you know, just to see what's going on. I did not even bother thinking of, you know, bringing ideas because for for the first album to come back on the Art of Dying, it really needed those four originals to get together and write. They were basically, for me coming in into this band, to see the four originals get their feet wet again to do Death Angel was really, really interesting and a good learning process. I mean, because those guys had been away from each other as Death Angel for about 11 years. I mean, they've done projects together, but they, were, they weren't metal. So for the Art of Dying, for, for that writing session, to see them come in and write a Death Angel record together was cool. Same with Killing Season, they were still getting their bearings together. Now come Relentless Dream, The Evil Divide, you know, we lost a couple of members, you know, after Killing Season, Relentless. So Rob had to write it, you know, it was, it was inevitable that, and it was perfect that he wrote it. Come this record, I was, you know, I had ideas on a A track that I record all my ideas on an A track and uh, the song Alive and Screaming, which I wrote and Mark wrote the lyrics to. The reason that I, I love this song, it's the first Aguilar Alcegeta collaboration. It's the first song that Ted has writing credit for and he wrote all the riffs. I've had those ideas in the interim between the Dream Calls for Blood and the evil divide. I had it. I had those ideas sitting around. I love the feel of the song, and it just totally, to me, has like a real an old school, old school and lively uppity metal feel. Which is again, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look for something like that because there's just a lot of negativity going on, you know. And I'm kind of a negative guy a lot of the time, so it's like, yeah, we're pushing that out there. But it's nice to have, you know. In our sound, we also have a lot of uppity rock and roll feeling kind of songs because we love that kind of music and Ted's song totally was in that category. Rob said, hey man, this, this tune's pretty cool. Let's see what Mark can do with it. Mark threw, out, threw down some badass vocals and melodies. I was like, you know, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna give my all for Ted, you know? <laughs> and lo and behold, it made the record. I love that. And you know, I love Ted and I love that, you know, we're expanding in the songwriting.